Hey guys, it's Kasera, and today I'm gonna to be reorganizing my bookshelves. pretty big book haul. I will link that up in the cards for you guys if you guys want to check that out. I also had just a bunch of like random books just sitting around. So I just have tons of books that I haven't gotten a place on my shelf right now. It's time to do some reorganization. It's been a while since I've done one of these. It's not going to be like a full bookshelf tour or anything like that. That is just like way too much filming and editing for me to get into right now. But this is just going to be a really casual bookshelf reorganization. So I'm going to change up the angle a little bit so you guys can see a little bit more of my shelves. Than what okay, so from this angle, you can see all of five of my bookshelves. So as you guys know, this is my adult fantasy bookshelf. This is my YA bookshelf, my middle grade shelf down here. YA just kind of went over onto two shelves. And then if we walk down here, we have my like other like miscellaneous shelf and then my classics and my racked bookshelves at the very bottom there. Because this bookshelf is a mess, so just ignore that. But we have all of these books right here that we have to put on some shelves. So I'm gonna get to organizing these a little bit so we can kind of understand where these books are going and then we'll get to actually putting them on the shelves. So that's all kind of like the miscellaneous, some classics by size, and it's a nonfiction over here. All of this is going to go all the way down there. Oh yeah, this is also going to go down there. This I haven't decided yet. I don't know with all of that fantasy going on the shelves if I'm going to have a place to continue having my adult sci-fi on these shelves as well. If I can fit the fantasy and sci-fi on that shelf, it doesn't look like I'm going to. Like it's already super full. But if I can, then this will all go together on the shelf. I have a feeling I'm going to end up putting my sci-fi over with my miscellaneous adult books. So we'll see how that goes. And of course the middle grade and the YA. I'm going to start with middle grade because I feel like that's just the easiest one to do. Now 
it's time for the adult show. This is gonna be the hardest one. Oh my gosh, I'm not excited. So first of all, let me take off my sci-fi and that'll give me room for this stuff. Randomly, Children of Blood and Bone is on my adult fantasy shelf, so I'm gonna have to find a place for it on my YA shelf. So I'm gonna have to go back to that one. We have the ants, also YA. Maybe we'll find places for it. Again, YA. All my adult sci-fi, I found some random YA books on there. But I have space now for my adult books. So we're gonna get to that. Ah, oh, like a perfect fit right there. They don't know if that's the order I want that in though. The top shelf is just perfect. So good, I like it. It's not as colorful as it was before because I had to take the entire Expanse series off of it, which makes me really sad. It fit perfectly, which makes me happy. Next is Brandon Sanderson. This is my Brandon Sanderson section. I think I can fit it though. And I'm gonna leave The Way of Kings right there. Right there? That'll do for now. I'm currently reading this one, so it'll be fine. I, that means I have to find a new place for the Gentleman Bastard series, which makes me sad because I really liked having it on that shelf. I think I'm just going to put the Gentleman Bastard series on my mass market paperback shelf. We'll see if I find somewhere better to put it. Oh, I have one more Joe Abercrombie book. It's not tall though, so it looks weird next to the other Joe Abercrombie books. And it's not gonna fit on that shelf anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna change up the camera angle a little bit so you guys can see some of these lower shelves. So as you can see, there's a lot of space on this shelf. So I think I'm gonna bring some of my YA books over to this shelf so that we can have not as much space on it. And because my YA shelf's really full. I can either do that or do some sci-fi. Let me see if I have more mass market paperbacks. I put that one there. Oh, I don't wanna put the Gentleman Bastards this low. You know what? I have an idea. So I put the Gentleman Bastard series up where the Book of the Ancestor series was. And we're gonna put these ones a little bit lower down. I feel bad. I liked the series, it was good. Randomly a darker shade of magic there. So I have a little bit of space over there and a little bit of space over here. So let me see if there's anything that fits the correct heights. I could clear up some space on this shelf if I put these up here, because those are the right size. So I grabbed my YA books. I don't like leaving space on my shelves, in case you were wondering. I decided to pick up Spin the Dawn, because it just looked weird on the shelf that it was on. And I'm gonna put it here. It's not perfect, but at least it fills up that space. It's not a really great fit for the shelf, but this shelf is just kind of weird in general. Now we're gonna go to the other side of the room. So this shelf right here is the one that's gonna get the most makeover of all of my shelves, because this whole section, I'm going to clear out for my sci-fi books. I'm gonna consolidate the bottom section down there, over there. I forgot adult fantasy I have on the shelf. So that needs to go over there. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll do that later. I'm gonna just take these off for now. And then I got some nonfiction down here. So my nonfiction shouldn't be too hard to fit in down here. I'm gonna consolidate all of this books except for this one. Except for Pillars of the Earth. All of the Sticky Stack House books, I'm gonna consolidate into that little cubby. I've had them there before, so it's gonna fit. I'll probably put these romance books down here, move these mysteries and thrillers down here. I'll leave historical fiction up there and I'll move my contemporary up here. So this over here is actually sci-fi. So this could probably stay over here. Let's see how this goes. right here on this romance shelf. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have more shelf to bring down, so we'll see, I might fill that space. This 
silkworm, part of my most recent haul. Stiletto and the Rook. Are these sci-fi? Or are they thrillers? Or are they fantasy? I don't know. Supernatural fiction. That can kind of go with fantasy, right? And I believe this is also kind of fantasy. It might be sci-fi-ish though. Science fiction, telepathy, space colonies. Yeah, that's sci-fi. I'm gonna leave this in my sci-fi section. It just doesn't feel fantasy enough for me. I haven't read it yet though, so I don't know. Maybe it is. Let me know if you think this series, The Rook and the Stiletto by Daniel O'Malley is sci-fi or fantasy down in the comments because I don't know. Historical nonfiction and then this is actual nonfiction, which I'm gonna put down here for now. section for thrillers. So I'm gonna move some of these down here. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. shelf has looked in a while because I really didn't like how it looked before. So I'm gonna leave it. Never done that before though, so that's kind of weird. So this gives me a lot of the room for my sci-fi. So I'm gonna bring my sci-fi over here and see how it goes. I don't know if I'm perfectly happy with this because this is this is a weird shelf. But I actually think it looks better than it did before. But now I have a lot of room for sci-fi which makes me happy. Because I have a lot of sci-fi that I need on these shelves. So I forgot something. I have two more Kristen Hanna books, which have to go on this shelf. one and three. Still super weird though. I'm not happy with that one. Got more sci-fi. I don't have enough sci-fi to fit my show. That is surprising. Interesting. I expect me to have too much sci-fi. That means I can have an hour size-wise, but it's sci-fi and this is like my thriller shelf, but we're gonna go for it. We're just gonna go with it right now because that's like the best fit I have. I don't like this. That's the best I can do. This bookshelf is a lot fuller than it used to be. If I buy more books, I'm gonna have to get another bookshelf. Okay, classic shelf. I got a lot to do. Okay, so I do my classics a little bit different than my other shelves because I do it in alphabetical order by author's last name. I'm probably gonna have to take some place, space 
from my wrapped books over here because I don't have enough space, I think, up here. So I'm going to go ahead and consolidate my wrapped books and then we're going to get to the closet. I actually don't like how that looks. I'm going to have to redo my wrapped bookshelf a little bit, but let's do the classics first. Okay, classic shelf done. Gotta take a look at my wrapped books though. So we're gonna change the angle up one more time. So I really don't like what this looks like right now. So I'm gonna try and make it look a little bit better. Unfortunately, I don't know what any of the books are in here. So I can't like put them next to each other if they're supposed to be next to each other or anything. So I'm just gonna try and make it look pretty. doing this my phone ran out of battery luckily it kept the whole hour of footage I already had but it missed like the whole ending of me finishing off this shelf but this is what it ended up looking like it's not my favorite but it's better than what it was before so yeah this is what it looks like no one has to see this shelf anyway because it's like stuck in like a weird corner over here so it's fine it's perfectly fine so that is all i have for you guys today well it's a very casual video probably gonna be pretty short it actually took me a really long time to film so i hope you guys enjoyed watching i post videos frequently on this channel so consider subscribing if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel all social media links are in the description down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye